uh, the 2019 leaders and laggards. So I've got a listing of the stocks that were the leader within the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ for 2019, and the laggards that were the ones that were falling behind for the year of 2019 from the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. So all of the stocks that you see here, whether they're on the bullish side or on the bearish side, have been put into VectorVest watch list. Can you comment on the market climate graph? Um, I can do that real quick. I wasn't anticipating doing that, but I can do that real quick. The market climate graph is not designed for you to trade off of. The market climate graph is designed for a 30,000 foot view of the market. So if I'm gonna click on add new, I'll change to the market climate graph, put this on to a one year, and we're looking at two things. We're looking at the S&P earnings, which is the fuchsia line. All right, over the last year, the earnings on the S&P 500 stocks rising, and as long as you have rising earnings, we will be in a bull market, bar none. But if you look down below, change the style, let's make this a little darker. We have the S&P earnings VV. So we take the number, right now the S&P earnings is at $7.07. The average stock in the S&P 500 is earning $7.70 on an average, all right, on average. But we take that data and we put it on a vector vest scale and we can see that on a vector vest level we're falling. But remember, on that vector vest level, it's on a scale between zero and two. Notice that the S&P earnings VV is still above the value of one. They can't see that. I need them to see the side. Uh, there we go. And if you look at the S&P earnings VV on that scale between zero and two, earnings is still above the value of one. So even though earnings are rising, the S&P earnings VV on that scale between zero and two is actually starting to fall. But as long as it's above the value of one, we're still in a bull market nonetheless. Now, when that S&P earnings VV falls below the value of one, that's when we're gonna know we're in a bear market. All right, so there you go. Can we see the watch list of Vector Vest? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a second. I wanted to answer um, B. Rudnick's question about looking at the market climate graph. This is the behind the scenes 30,000 foot view of what's going on in the market. Uh, earnings as a whole is still rising, but our vector vest uh, indicator, the S&P earnings VV is falling, but still above the value of one, so we're still okay. Um, right now, bear address correction. At any point in time, I, I will never call it a correction until it is a correction, Richard. What is a correction when the market falls off by about 20%? Something along those lines, that's a correction. Um, you won't know that until it happens, but what I want you to understand by you looking at the VectorVest software, if I'm looking at the VectorVest software, looking at the market timing graph, I'll be able to see that before it happens. Knowing that we're at a level where the market is looking for a top, what am I looking for? Well, when the market stops going up and starts going down, that's when the top happens. So Richard, that's what I'm more in, in tune with. And I won't know if it's a, a, a bearish pullback or a correction until it happens. But even during that time when the market does pull back, this is your time to watch what's going on and take action, the appropriate action. Job says close to a bottom, but still in the top half, so bottom of the top. I'm not going to call this close to a bottom yet. Uh, we're close to a top, but not close to a bottom. All right, let me go to that listing of the stocks that we put together for you. We're going to start with uh, the leaders. All right, so all of those stocks that were in the Seeking Alpha, these were some of the leaders. I put a couple of extra stocks in here as well. Uh, we already talked about the VVC and the Spiders. All right, so out of 18 stocks, here's 16 of some of the best stocks for 2019. All right, first thing, what I notice, the majority of these stocks are buy recommendations. That's important to know. All right, every stock in our database gets a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. The stocks that are, were the leaders for the year are between buy and hold. Out of the 16 or so, um, to uh, whatever, majority of them are buy recommendations. That's a good thing. Stocks that you know about. 
AMD, JP Morgan, Tesla. Tesla's up there with a buy recommendation. Microsoft, um, Chipotle, Visa, Apple, United Technology. So here's some of the best stocks. And what I autom automatically can see, looking at the power of the VectorVest software, the stocks are, for the most part, recommendations buy. Another thing, we know that RT is an indicator that tells me if a stock is in an uptrend or not. Notice that every stock in here has an RT greater than one. All of the stocks that were in the list for leaders are all moving up, some moving up more than others. If I want to sort this list by RT, the fastest moving stock in this list, AMD, followed by ARWR. How many of you know what ARWR is? All right, how about this, especially for my new people? Watch this, if you right click on the stock, and go down to view full stock analysis report. Look at that. I can find out everything I need to know about AWR or ARWR. It is a drug biomedical slash genetic. I'll get a three month graph of it along as with an industry graph. Look at the industry. Industry is a strong industry. That drug biomedical genetic industry over the last three months is rock and rolling. Pulling back now over the past few days and the stock it's been moving sideways. Scrolling down, I can show you what all of our indicators within the software are. And look at that, all the way down. So as a brand new subscriber to this software, or not even a subscriber to this software, I'm gonna show you something else, all right? If you are not a subscriber to the software, we got a link here called Free Stock Analysis. And, huh? I'm gonna put it in the room. All right, uh, Joey put a link in there for you especially if you're not a subscriber, you still, you like what you see here, that's great. But now let's put some of the power behind the software into your hands, even though you're not a subscriber yet. So Joey put a link in there. For those of you who are not subscribers, click on that link. And if you want to get any stock analyzed, any of the stocks that we uh, uh, track, simply type in the symbol. Let's say, give me a stock, Joey. Apple? And I already, no, give me another stock. Never mind. Costco? Costco, C S C O. That's Cisco. Oh, Costco is C O S T. All right, so you type it in. All right, you put in your email address and then click on get report. All right, and that is, and that's specifically for the people in the room in this live stream who are not subscribers to the software, you can get your stocks analyzed for you for free for free. So Joey put the link in there. I wanted to show you what it looks like and you can analyze. You put your email, click on get report automatically, boom, it emails you the report. So um, take, take a look at that. Why the MTI was not high in 1.5 if the last three months was constant rise? Um, I understand the question. So right now, if you go back to the market timing graph, we're going to do that real quick. Uh, let's go market timing graph. So the market's moving up. The MTI is moving up. And your question is, uh, why MTI was not high in the 1.5 if the last three months was constant rise? Well, look at it. As the market is rising, that MTI is rising as well, Arson. Do you see that? Rising market, rising MTI, that's exactly uh, how you know the market is getting toppy. So hopefully that answers your question. Other than that, I'm not sure what else you're asking. The MTI slowly but surely has gotten to that range of being toppy. Even though the market's ri risen here, the market wasn't getting toppy. And guess what? The market kept rising. Now as the market is getting toppy at that value of 1.5, what's the market doing? It's slowing down that upward move. All right, slowing down that upward move. All right, a correction is a correction a lot like being shot. You might live through it, but you don't want to until after it. So I don't want to get shot. Why are you talking about getting shot? You want to get shot? I don't want to get shot. Man, that's so morose. Oy. All right, so you, you, you're welcome, Arson. Let's go back to, was it here? There we go. So the first thing, again, all I'm looking at is the stocks that are in this list. I'm looking at the recommendations. I'm looking at the earnings growth rate. Only a few of them have uh, negative earnings growth rates. Watch those stocks that have negative earnings growth rates. You want to be in a stock where the earnings growth rate is 
preferably in double digits like we have here. Look at that advanced micro buy recommendation, growing their earnings at a rate of 28% a year. How about Tesla? Wow. Growing their earnings at a rate of about 37% a year. Or coming down to Netflix, growing their earnings at 29% a year. Or Chipotle, growing their earnings at 23% a year. Building a watch list of stocks is exactly what you want to have happen. All right. This is, ex and this is why I'm very quickly looking at the stocks that are uh, the leaders and what they look like. Look at that. All of them, RTs above one. The majority of them have relative safeties above one. So the safest stock in here is Visa. Chipotle is in second. Disney. How about Disney? How about Disney, Apple, um, Netflix, in the um, streaming wars this year? Big move on these stocks by way of stream. Disney came out with their new streaming. Holy smokes, they're getting... How many of you watched The Mandalorian? Joey and I watched The Mandalorian, but Disney's kicking in, but we all know who the big, who the big boy is still, Netflix. Netflix is still the big boy, and Apple and Disney and everybody's coming after Netflix. They've got the most subscribers. But Disney, I think, is gonna, is gonna bite into that. Why? Because not only do they have the streaming service, but they got Star Wars. They got Pixar. They got Marvel. They've got a vault full of movies that people love. Disney, uh, Netflix needs to keep their eye on Disney. And I love Baby Yoda, too. Um, Jay, we know Glenn going to brag on that Apple. You know I am. You know I am. Still, how about Apple is hitting all-time highs? Let's take a look at all three of these stocks real quick. Let's view the stock graph. So three of the leaders, three of the leaders in the list. Now, watch this. Interesting. Disney was one of the leaders, right? Look at the earnings per share. Hmm, this is that information. You know why the earnings per share is falling? Can anybody tell me why the earnings per share was falling? Where were they putting their money? Um, where, where were they putting their money um, as, as time was going into the year? Anybody want to venture an answer? Where was their money going? All right, so the earnings per share was falling. Anybody want to want to put that out there with investing? Investing in what, Jay? In this, absolutely right. Investing in streaming. So you know something. As the streaming starts to take off, what do you think is going to happen to the earnings per share? That's right. Arts and content development. What do you think is going to? Disney's a name that's been around forever. So this was investing into the streaming service. What do you think earnings per share is going to get start to go do? We'll keep our eyes on that, all right? Like I said, Netflix better watch Disney. I'm calling that. Netflix better watch Disney as far as the stream wars is concerned. Apple, historically new highs. Love me some Apple and always have loved Apple. Spending money on streamers and buying market share. Right on it. So you guys know what was going on with Disney. Apple took a hit in earnings. What is it starting to do? Apple streaming is not bad either, and they're going after Netflix, but Apple hitting historical new highs going into 2020. And last but not least, look at Netflix. Man, now Netflix looks all wishy-washy, but what's the earnings per share doing? They're making money. They're making money left and right, hand over fist, because they are the leaders right now still in the stream. They are the leaders right now, all right? Uh, agreed. Vector Vest has a wealth of tools and great support from Glenn and others. There you go. Joey, put Glenn in time. What are you Come putting on. me in timeout for? What did I do? Dang. Put me in the um, in a timeout. Saborium says Disney can also raise the price of park admission and parking. You know, that's another thing about the Disney. Watch Disney because Disney is not only in the streaming, it's just a small part of their business. They still have the theme parks and all that. You're right. So, Jess, uh, Glenn needs some makeup. What are they talking about? Wow. I'm getting beat up today like nobody's business. Good Gordon Jim. All right. So, those are three of the biggest movers, but you can see what's going on with Netflix. What's helping them is their subscriber base and Netflix and chill. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. 
If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.